Howdy Partners, es ist schon wieder soweit. Wir haben uns hier versammelt zu einer neuen Folge Red Dead Redemption auf Phalanx Streams mit mir, Koji und natürlich Arthur. Und ich begrüße euch alle recht herzlich, dass ihr wieder eingeschaltet habt. Wir sind wieder ein toller Hecht und äh, werden jetzt mal schauen, was es hier noch für Missionen gibt. Ähm, die wir jetzt mal machen können. Wir haben immer noch einen Bär im Backpack, also im Kofferraum. <lacht> und äh, dann gucken wir mal, was hier so abgeht. Natürlich alles hier in... Im Gebiet, wo man uns gerade nicht so gerne sehen will. Dann hätten wir hier noch den Pflanzenschutzbeauftragten und Thema Blackwater, da waren wir auch noch gar nicht. Aber ich befürchte, wir sind auch noch gar nicht am Ende unseres, äh, unserer Odyssee hier mit Arthur. Das wirkt auf mich nicht so, als würde es hier zeitig zu Ende gehen. Wir treffen uns mal da vorne, würde ich sagen. Ich muss hier mal meinen Stuhl noch ein bisschen einstellen. Ja. So. Dann gucken wir mal, was sich jetzt hier so ergibt. diesen Weg ins Lager kommen, dann wäre das ja praktisch, wenn wir direkt den Bär abgeben. Ach so, den haben wir doch schon mal gehabt. Das verfolgte da am Wasser. So, ich habe auch schon ewig keine Suppe mehr gegessen hier. Könnte auch mal wieder einen Start bringen. Achso, da vorne ist welche tatsächlich. Ich bin zu den Scraps hier. So, was gehen wir denn ab? Äh, für die Vorräte schon. Dann haben wir hier äh, Tierfett, das geben wir auch ab. Wir haben, das haben wir, das behalte ich, das koche ich mir noch. Das Fell geben wir ab. Thank you. Und das sollte erstmal reichen. Na gut, vielleicht gehen wir hier noch. Ne, eigentlich brauche ich das. Für mein eigenes Zeug. Komm, ich habe noch super viel Kram. Wir haben auch schon fertiges Fleisch, aber das wollen sie wahrscheinlich nicht. Thank you, Arthur. Gern geschehen. Arthur? Keine Zeit jetzt. 
Guck mal, hier geht's super. Hm. Okay. Wir haben auch einen Brief, hatten wir beim letzten Mal. Den wollten wir auch noch mal lesen. Oder müssen wir mal lesen. Oh, das ist aber süß. Eine Blume. Schön. Ich kann hier den Brief. Ne, nicht, nicht Blume. Brief, da ist er. Brief. So, jetzt. Zack. Dear Sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Mhm. Eine neue Nebenmission. Quasi. Nicht nur quasi, sondern auch äh, tatsächlich. Ich denke, solange wir wirklich so äh, kacke aussehen, also solange es uns auch schlecht geht, können wir ruhig aussehen wie der letzte Heckepenner. Wir können ein bisschen Pomade ins, ins Haar machen. Komm, da war doch die Pomade. Da. Okay, sehr gut. Eingesteckt. Spiritten nehmen. Die werden jetzt, glaube ich, der Tod. Wenn wir jetzt kippen noch nicht. Wenn wir uns jetzt noch kippen reinhauen. So, Waffenkoffer mal reinschauen. Was haben wir denn da noch? Was ist denn ein Rolling Block Gewehr? Das hat auf jeden Fall auch die Pumps. Umziehen können wir uns auch nochmal. Wir haben ja schon fertige Outfits gehabt, ne? Hier. Ruhig schön abgeranzt, so. Gerade. So wie es uns geht. Ich glaube, wir bleiben dabei. Das ist gar nicht so schlecht, ja.
Wir bleiben dabei. Das sieht schon ganz gut aus. So, und dieses scheiß Gewehr will ich jetzt doch, doch wieder loswerden. Ja, komm. Oh, den Block in den Waffenkoffer legen. Nee, nein. Jetzt habe ich das Problem verstanden. Ah. Okay, gut. So, dann würde ich sagen, nehmen wir jetzt einen Auftrag an. Raven Swanson. <lacht> Raven? You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, We will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Okay. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Thank you for this. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong. Ein bisschen was fürs Pferd tun. This okay, world. Girl. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. Come on, damit kann ich heilen. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this <coughs> Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that.
Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feed. Wir auf diesen Revolver jetzt hier gespannt. Quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone? The government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Okay. All right. Good set out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Wir hatten noch hier so einen Tomahawk, oder? Wo ist der denn hin? Da ist er doch. Try not to kill.
I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Reicht doch nicht. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Over here. Come on. Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Well, he... Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Okay, krasse Entscheidung, die wir treffen müssen jetzt hier. Fallender Regen helfen. 
Oder fallen der Regen nicht helfen? Also, das eine ist, wir stellen uns ja auch... Doch, wir helfen ihm natürlich. Ja, ich werde mit ihm sprechen. Geh zurück ins Camp, check auf die anderen okay. Deutschen. Ich wollte es hinführen, aber okay. Ich verstehe. Wir stellen uns zwar gegen Dutch, Thank aber... You, Dutch übertreibt. Ich glaube nicht, dass er noch ein guter Anführer ist. Yep. Oh, jetzt viel zu tun. Eine Menge neuer Missionen bekommen. Wir schauen mal. Wir sind, wo sind wir denn? Sag mal, wo sind wir denn? Da unten. Können wir sind Marker treffen? Dann haben wir hier noch. Ja, komm. Dann haben wir hier oben. Rainfall oder wie der heißt, ne? Der ist da oben. Hier haben wir noch Sadie Adler. Komm, wir machen erstmal Maika. Das wird wahrscheinlich auch die die krasseste Mission mit äh, krass durch die Gegend ballern. Maika artet, bei Maika artet das doch immer alles aus. Eskaliert dann so schnell. Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Mein Pferd. Ach, das stimmt da. <lacht> Ganz gesehen. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through. And horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Latin... 
needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay, an der Stelle ist tatsächlich auch schon die Folge zu Ende. Ähm, wir machen den Post Postkutschenüberfall dann äh, in der nächsten Folge. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Bleibt gerne dabei. Daumen nach oben. Kommentar hinterlassen. Glocke drücken. Eins von den drei Dingern. Alle drei zusammen. Alle drei zusammen. Oder so wie ihr mögt. Wir freuen uns auf jeden Fall über... Äh, egal was ihr macht. Ja? ja vielen Dank. Haut rein. Ciao.